Hello, curious minds. What if we told you there's a way to turn an entire star into a supercomputer, a mind so powerful it could simulate whole universes including ours? This isn't science fiction, it's a real idea proposed by scientists, and it's called the Matryoshka brain. Buckle up because we're about to explore the mind of a star. Imagine a computer, not sitting on your desk but wrapped around an entire star. This isn't science fiction, it's a real theoretical concept called the Matryoshka brain. Named after Matryoshka dolls, it's a megastructure made of multiple dice and spheres, each layered around the other. Each shell captures the heat and energy emitted from the one inside it. The innermost layer absorbs the star's raw energy, the next layer uses the waste heat from that, and so on, forming a giant, multi-layered energy harvesting machine. But it's not just an energy collector, it's designed to power an unimaginable level of computation. Think artificial superintelligence, massive simulations, or perhaps even entire virtual civilizations. The idea was proposed by writer and futurist Robert Bradbury, building on Freeman Dyson's earlier vision of the Dyson Sphere. Robert Bradbury expanded on this in 1997. Instead of just collecting energy, why not compute with it? That's the Matryoshka brain, a layered Dyson structure optimized for massive scale computation. So, Matryoshka Brain would be the ultimate computer, built not in a lab, but across a solar system. It's a mind-bending idea. But it only gets wilder from here. So, we have a star, surrounded by multiple nested layers, each one built to process and transmit insane amounts of data. But this isn't just about capturing energy. Each shell in a Matryoshka Brain is packed with computing infrastructure, basically planetary-scale data centers orbiting a star. They work together like the layers of a gigantic distributed neural network. Information flows between shells using waste energy and infrared radiation not just for power, but for communication and computation. The deeper the layer, the slower and cooler it runs. But together, they form a perfectly tiered system. The whole structure could simulate entire worlds, evolve AI at lightning speed, or even run models of the universe itself, across thousands or even millions of years. It's not just a machine, it's a mind, built on a solar system scale. So, could we actually build a Matryoshka brain? Technically speaking, nothing in physics says it's impossible, but in practice, we're talking about one of the most ambitious engineering feats imaginable. First, we'd need to dismantle entire planets just to get the raw materials, then we'd have to build structures millions of kilometers wide and keep them perfectly aligned around a blazing hot star, and powering it all, we'd likely need self-replicating AI-driven machines building and maintaining this megastructure over centuries. Maybe millennia. So, if it's theoretically possible, why haven't we seen one? Some scientists speculate we might have. Advanced civilizations could be hiding inside these constructs, radiating only faint heat, like a whisper across the galaxy, or maybe, we're just the first. The Matryoshka brain might be the most powerful computer the universe could ever host, but if a civilization built one, what would they do with it? Simulate their ancestors, predict the future, or maybe create entirely new realities? What would you do with the power of a star? Let us know in the comments. And if this blew your mind, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss a journey into the unknown. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep looking up.